And we are following some breaking news just into the newsroom. The city of Orlando just announced the end to the state of emergency that it put in place last week in response to the downtown Orlando Halloween shooting. At the time, leaders established a 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. curfew. They just announced that curfew will end tonight and police will increase safety measures. Then next week, city le leaders will start doing even more safety measures. This includes discouraging people from being in the street. To do this, they plan to gradually reopen Orange Avenue and its side streets to traffic during late night hours. Currently, the road is blocked off on Friday and Saturday nights, which can lead to people being right in the middle of the street. A 17-year-old facing charges as an adult for that deadly shooting during Halloween celebrations downtown told detectives he has had troubles from all the stress in his life. We are learning new details about what else he told officers and what happened when nine people were shot, two of them killed. News 6's Catherine Silver has the court documents that were just released today. She is live at the jail in Orange County where that teen is being held. Catherine. This is the arrest affidavit for 17-year-old Jalen Edgar, and it is giving us some answers, like where he says he got the gun, what he was doing in downtown Orlando that night, and he admits he is in that video that captured the shooting. But we still have some questions about why exactly he pulled the trigger. Body camera video shows the chaos in the crowd the early morning hours of November 1st, where police say 17-year-old Jalen Edgar opened fire. Get on the ground right now! First at Orange Avenue in Central Boulevard, and again at Orange and Washington, where he was spotted and handcuffed. I saw him too, I saw him too. On Thursday, Mr. Edgar, the 17-year-old faced a judge for another case from last November. You were arrested pursuant to a probable cause KPS for grand theft of a motor vehicle. An arrest affidavit for the shooting says he was downtown that night with friends. He claims he found the gun earlier that day and explained to officers he's been affected by numerous deaths of loved ones he has witnessed in his life and has had trouble due to the amount of stress he's been under. Nine people were shot in the crowd. Most of the victims told police they did not see the shooting happen. Anthony Barry says the suspect was confrontational. He started getting aggressive verbally, increasing his tone of voice. One of the bullets grazed his head. He pulls out this hand motion like that. Boom! I just saw a light flash. Then I just feel like my head a little heated. Like that's what it felt like. Two people were killed. UCF student Timothy Schmidt and Tyreek Hill. My son was in the, the wrong place at the wrong time. His mother spoke at a vigil in his honor. She says her son was a bright light and he was loved. I just, it's hard, but I know that God is going to get me and my family through this because of the love that has been shown and the character of my son. The shooting has impacted so many people. We're also learning from this arrest affidavit that one of the arresting officers actually saw Jalen Edgar earlier that night. He says he watched him climb onto an Orlando Fire Department vehicle onto a stretcher and was taking some pictures. About 30 minutes later, the shooting happened. I'm live in Orange County, Catherine Silver, getting results, News 6.